what's up guys this is uh going to be kind of a short video um, on how to edit registry files without having to go to uh, cmd uh, accessing administrator privileges and uh, you know basically you know editing key registry files like sc query um, i mean uh, sc uh, sc query yeah you know what i mean i didn't type i guess i didn't type in uh, the entire thing but whatever so this is a much easier way. Um, this is good if you're up trying to update your um, device drivers and you're constantly keep on updating, updating, updating. Um, Windows keeps on saying, "Oh yeah, you're okay. The software and hardware is okay. You're good. You're good. You're good." But then, like you keep on typing and then the keys are unresponsive, or you start moving your mouse, or and, and it's not responding. It's also good for malicious purposes. If you um, are at school or at college or at work and you open the registry editor. And you start changing the files, like um, the amount of um, response seconds, like 500 milliseconds it takes automatically. Boom, boom, like double clicking, like this. This is the default speed. It responds automatically, 500 milliseconds. But if you change it to um, one, it'll delay the time by like a lot. Like think of this. This is how long it takes. This would be how long it takes for a double click to respond. It would be so annoyed and so trolled, man. It, it, it It's hilarious, really. Very funny. But uh, this is just for educational purposes only. I'm not responsible if you do any damage to infrastructure, yada, 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 educational purposes. You guys know. Now I know. Now you know. Also, this is not my actual IP address. This is not my IP address. Just unload this. There. All right. So, we're going to start typing to search for apps, files, and settings. What you want to find is, when you're in the search bar, obviously, um, reg edit. Reg edit. You're going to run the command, and you have to say yes for that. I just have it for security purposes. And this is what I was talking about um, before. This is the registry file for the mouse. Um, to access the stuff for the hardware, you're going to want to go to your computer, open the parent folder, go to HK, HQ users, go to control panel, and you're going to want to find the hardware that you want to mess with. So if you want to mess with the keyboard, you click on the keyboard, keyboard delay, keyboard speed. Uh, this is all default, um, except for like 001, because that's actually for numlock, because uh, had numlock each time enabled, it was annoying as all of living hell. So this um, actually is the actual speed of the uh, mouse. This this right here is a double click speed, as I told you guys before. Uh, to modify the registry files, you right click and press modify. Then you see 500 milliseconds. If you set it to one, it's going to or like zero, it's going to lay it forever. But um, it's pretty cool if you want to mess with people. I can't really mess with anything right now. Um, I don't have... I think I had a VMware player. If I had the VMware player, I could have showed you guys um, all the collateral damage you could have done. My VMware player isn't responding right now. Um, I think my hard disk uh, had a separate hard drive. Not a hard disk. Not a mechanical hard drive. An SSD. Yeah, a really small SSD. Like, what, 26 gigabytes? an SSD, and it was running Ubuntu, not Ubuntu 64, but it was running regular Ubuntu, and then I guess um, I probably installed a virus on there, and then it just crashed. I couldn't use my VMware anymore, because apparently it was polymorphic code, and if I let it open um, on my VMware player, it would have um, spread to my computer, and my initial trial for my cafe has expired. Like, I pirated the software. I'm still using the cafe, but it says my initial trial has expired. So I guess I'm kind of protected, but if I ask for, like, automatic um, antivirus support, it's really not going to work. And um, I've only coded one piece of polymorphic code, and it wasn't really that good. So I don't really understand it too well. But I know what it is, how the threats are dealt with, and you know, stuff like that. But besides that, this is how you um, edit the registry files. Pretty cool if I 
you can say so. You can also men mess with the printers if you uh, if you want. The you would be a really big douche, you know, if you do that. But um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, uh, I think later today I'm going to be finishing my presentation on what DDoS is, and I'm going to be starting a new series called the Junk Box. This is basically a um, loot collection. We're going to be um, finding computers that uh, no one's really using anymore. Then uh, we're going to be um, dismantling them and see if we can find the prize jewels like hard disks, um, RAM. I'll explain to you guys what each um, piece does, and uh, you guys will learn will learn a lot of stuff. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a super cow fragile to day.